Welcome to a CyBreason video. In this video, we'll demonstrate how the CyBreason platform's anti-ransomware features can protect your environment from the Quantum Locker strain of ransomware. Quantum Locker was first discovered in July 2021. It was found to be a rebranding of the notorious Mount Locker ransomware, which launched in September 2020. Like previous strains, Quantum Locker employs a double extortion technique, threatening to both withhold data from the victim and make that information public. Since its detection, the ransomware has been identified in fast ransomware attacks. In some cases, the attacker deploys the ransomware within four hours of gaining initial access to the network, leaving defenders little time to react. The CyberReason XDR platform is able to detect and prevent the execution of Quantum Locker using threat intelligence, machine learning, and next-gen antivirus capabilities. Additionally, when the anti-ransomware feature is enabled, Behavioral detection techniques in the platform are able to detect and prevent any attempt to encrypt files. Let's see this in action. First, we can demonstrate the attack on a machine with CyberReason anti-ransomware in detect-only mode. After running the Quantum Locker ransomware, we see the files being encrypted with the Quantum extension. We can also see the ransom note. From the CyberReason UI, we can investigate the ransomware more closely. In the Malops management screen, we see a ransomware behavior malop that was generated for the Quantum Locker process. Clicking on this malop takes us to the malop details screen. The overview gives us a general idea about what happened. Then we have the timeline and the processes themselves that we can investigate. Let's look at this one. From the investigation screen element details pane, we can see the execution flow, the malops that were created, and the file events, including the files that were encrypted because CyberReason anti-ransomware was just in detect mode. Clicking on the attack tree view takes us to the attack tree screen, where we can see a more detailed chain of execution. Here's the ransomware process. We can see information about the image file and tell that it spawned CMD and executed a bat file, which is used to remove traces of the ransomware and delete the image file. Now let's look at a machine with CyberReason anti-ransomware in detect and prevent mode. When we attempt to run the ransomware, we see CyberReason detect the ransomware and block it from encrypting any files. With the CyberReason XDR platform's behavioral detection capabilities, your organization is protected from quantum locker ransomware and other file encryption attempts.